Thank you for being here today. First of all, I would like to present a speech which explains my connection to the National Maradona Program. Albert Einstein once said, strange is our situation here upon Earth. Each of us comes for a short visit, not knowing why, yet sometimes seeming to a divine purpose. From the standpoint of daily life, however, there is one thing we do know, that we are here for the sake of others, for the countless unknown souls with whose fate we are connected by a bond of sympathy. I am connected to you because of my mother, and we are all connected here today to honor the generous marrow donors who said yes when asked to help save a life. I became connected to you when my mother, Martha Mancias, desperately needed a marrow match. Almost five years ago, I encouraged members of my church in San Benito, Texas and surrounding cities to register for the National Marrow Donor Program in hopes of finding a match for my mother. My mother did not like asking for help from others, nor be the center of attention. But when I told her that a marrow recruitment drive could also benefit others in need of a match, she agreed to help publicize the event. Over 100 giving people, just like you, registered in honor of my mother. Two weeks after the drive, she passed. But she left behind a special bond with everyone who registered that day. To thousands of people in need of a marrow match. I know that my mother fulfilled her purpose here on earth. But I felt as if there was some unfinished business left in my hands. Like Einstein, I realized how much our lives are built upon the labors of people, both living and dead, and how earnestly we must exhort ourselves in order to give as much as we receive. I decided if I could not give my marrow to those in need, then I would give knowledge to others about the marrow donation process. As a high school teacher, I have informed over 1,500 students about the marrow program through my lesson plans. And I hope that my students will share their information with others. As part of a graduate studies project, I helped create the public service announcement we saw earlier, as well as an informative video clarifying myths associated with the marrow donation process, the video we're going to see in just a moment. My edu by educating others about Be the Match marrow registry, I feel a connection to my mother's divine purpose, to help prevent others, families, from losing a loved one due to lacking a match. Two months ago, I received a call that I'm a potential match for a six-year-old boy in need of a marrow transplant. I do not know this yet if I'm the perfect match for this child, but I do know that my connection with the National Marrow Donor Program will never end. Be the match and the marrow donors honored today remind us that we are here for the sake of others. Like my mother said, the Marrow Drive was not just for her. It was for everyone. On behalf of everyone who has ever hoped for, wished for, or prayed for a match, thank you to all of the Marrow donors whose special bond to others is the gift of life. harvest 
This is done with subcutaneous injections and IVs, and is done as an outpatient. Though no medical procedure is without risk, there are rarely any long-term effects from donating. Only 5% or less of the donor's bone marrow is used in the donating process, and this is usually replaced within four to six weeks. All donors are screened before the donating process to ensure their safety throughout the procedure. Donors never pay medical costs. All costs are paid for by the patient's medical insurance, by the patient themselves, and sometimes with the help of the NMDP. The NMDP reimburses donors for travel costs and may reimburse other costs on a case-by-case -case basis. Perhaps the most common myth is that hematopathy is easy to find. The truth is, it's not. You may be the only person who can save someone's life. So when you get the call, say yes. Say yes for Clay. Say yes for Kathy. Say, Say yes.